If you're a fan of Thomas the Tank Engine, you're gonna really like what's inside this box from trainworld.com. It's Winston and Toby, the last two pieces that I needed to complete my collection of the G-scale locomotives in the Thomas the Tank Engine series. Let's put them on the layout and have some fun. Winston is the track inspection car. So the very first thing we're gonna do here is send Winston out to do an inspection of the entire layout. We start out here in the train yard. It used to be a bedroom, but the bed was removed to make more room for trains. Down the hallway, the track on the left will take him to the far end of the layout and he'll circle back on that track on the right. We're passing James and Emily who are parked on a siding and we're out the back door and briefly into the garden before popping out on the other side into our side yard. By the way, James and Emily will get to run on the layout after the track inspection is complete, as will Thomas, Percy, and Toby. Now we're coming up here to Puppy Palace Station, and this is Abby, a little terrier we're fostering for our local animal shelter. And these two little cuties are Abby's six-week-old puppies, Andy and Amy. We'll check back in on them again later. Back to the track inspection, Winston goes through the kitchen and into our dining room, where we find the most dangerous part of the entire layout, that crossing right there. After the crossing, the track makes a loop all the way around the dining room table, and after that full loop, the track crosses over itself right here at the crossing. Very dangerous, because if two trains happen to hit that crossing at the exact same time, there will be a big crash. Now we're back to the train yard, and Winston has finished inspecting one part of the layout, but there's one more part he needs to inspect. Thomas and Percy and a few other trains are in the train yard, and when they want to get out to the main line, they take this center track down the hallway to get there. Once we go past Emily and James, notice how that center track merges into another set of tracks that go out the back door, briefly through the garden, and pops out into our side yard. So you see, there are two parallel tracks running through here. The first time that Winston came through, he was on what I call the outside loop, and now he's inspecting the other track, what I call the inside loop. And here we are at the Puppy Palace station again. Abby, the mom, seems to be guarding the entrance. And look in the background, the pups are wrestling. Continuing on with the track inspection of the inner loop, Winston heads through the kitchen and into the living room. As he passes Emily and James, he has now completed inspecting the entire layout. Everything looks good. So now each of the trains should be about to get clearance to get going. Since Thomas is engine number one, the dispatcher gives Thomas the go ahead to be the first to head out. The center track takes him out to our living room where he'll pass Emily and James and merge onto the inner loop. And now Emily is leaving the siding that she's been parked on and she merges onto the outer loop. So Thomas has a little bit of a head start, but Emily is very fast, faster than Thomas, and she's going to easily pass Thomas, and she'll be the first one to reach the Puppy Palace station. Last time we were here, the pups were wrestling in the back, and Mom was guarding the doorway. Now, <laughs> how cute! Amy is practicing her bark, and she and her brother Andy have taken over guarding the doorway. Let's keep following Emily on the outer loop, which is a much longer section of the layout than the inner loop. You see Thomas heading past the camera on the inner loop as Emily does her loop around the dining room table and comes up to that dangerous crossing. But as long as no other trains are there, it's not dangerous at all. And as Emily heads towards the train yard, we are going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back to run Toby, Percy, and James.
Plus, a new feature I call Joke Time. Don't go away. Joke Time! Do you know why Emily never sits down? No. Because why? she's got a tender behind. Oh, <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the train that got stolen? No. The guy totally got away with it. He was really good at covering his tracks. Oh. <laughs> okay, your turn. I have nothing. <laughs> You didn't. You came to joke time without a joke prepared. Sorry. <laughs> As Toby backs out of that siding he's been parked on, he'll be right there on the main line, the outer loop that Emily is running on. We'll have to be careful to keep some good separation between them so they don't both end up at that dangerous crossing at the same time. Oh, and there's Emily now. She's heading in the other direction, but. As Toby enters the room where the train yard is, notice that the main line just does a big loop through the room and then heads back into the hallway in the other direction. So that's where Emily just was. Toby is basically just 20 seconds or so behind her on the same section of track. That's not a lot of separation, so we're going to have to do something about that to avoid a crash at that crossing. Maybe what we could do is have Toby stop at Puppy Palace Station for a little while to give Emily a chance to get further ahead of him. That would increase the separation and prevent a crash. Hmm, nope, he didn't stop. Well, let's see what the puppies are up to. Oh, look, it looks like everyone was taking a nap. Sorry to bother you, fellas. Go back to sleep. Let's see what's happening at that crossing. Oh no! Watch out! Oh, I hate it when that happens. Let's see it again in slow motion. I hope that didn't wake up the pups. Well, that is our crash of the day. We'll send a crew out to clean up the crash, but we're going to need to give them a little time, so let's take one last break here. When we come back, we'll run Percy on the layout, we'll see if Toby and Emily are okay after the crash, James is going to get to run, and later, Thomas saves the day for the puppies. Stick around. Let's get Percy out of the train yard and onto the main line. And as Percy heads down the hallway, we'll get a look at the crash site shortly. Oh, fantastic! Emily is up and running again, and she's looking good. No sign of Toby, though. I hope he's okay. Now, is it just me, or is Percy being especially careful on his run? He seems to be looking from side to side even more than normal, keeping an eye out for any signs of danger. I think that crash may have rattled him a little bit. Let's see if it woke the pups up. Hmm, that's good. They don't seem to be bothered. It does look to me like they're ready to wake up, though. Back to Percy. He's on the inner loop, so he won't be going through the crossing. Nothing to worry about then. The inner loop just takes him right back out the back door so he can loop around again. Let's not forget James, the red engine. He's been on the siding the whole time. And look what we did here. We reversed the direction of travel on the inner loop. So now, as James makes his way around the outer loop, the trains on the inner loop are approaching from the opposite direction, which makes things kind of fun and not at all dangerous as they pass each other. And at the Puppy Palace Station, yes indeed, the pups have woken up. But their food bowl is empty, so Abby is sticking her tongue out at me. We need to get some food out here right away. I've dispatched to train one, Thomas the Tank Engine. I have a priority one assignment for you. I repeat, priority one. We need you to bring a load of puppy food out to the Puppy Palace 
right away. So it's up to Thomas to accomplish the most important assignment of the day. A crew loaded puppy food into one of the troublesome trucks, and Thomas needs to pull it to the puppy palace as soon as possible. So he's heading down the tracks faster than I've ever seen him go before. The fastest route is to travel in the reverse direction of normal travel on the main line, and the dispatcher cleared all the other locomotives off the main line so there would be no chance of a crash at the crossing. And that will allow Thomas to get all the way from the train yard to the puppy palace in record time. A construction crew put down a special set of tracks to allow Thomas to pull directly in to the puppy palace. And as everyone cheers, Thomas brings the puppy food right to the bowl. A delicious happy ending for the puppies, and Abby even got some too. If you enjoyed today's story, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.